Ladies and gentlemen, Vidyaniketan Group of Institutions welcomes you to yet another season of India Insight. Envisioned by Mrs. Prema Rajagopal, the founder of this institution, way back in 2004, the objective ever since has been to enhance the knowledge of India and appreciate the diverse culture of this nation. As our young children take part from various corners of the world, over the last couple of years in the digital avatar, this contest has reached over 20,000 students across 10 countries. We at the Vidyaniketan Group of Institutions truly appreciate and acknowledge the support and patronage given to us by all the participating schools, their teachers and managements. Before we begin, it is our pleasure and privilege to invite a leader in school education, a person who is a strong advocate of co-scholastic learning. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Dean Academics at Vidyaniketan, Ms. Sumitra Raghavan. Good morning, young participants of the India Insight debate, quiz and drawing competitions. The dream of our founder, Srimati Prema Rajagopal, has not only materialized, but is growing stronger in numbers each passing year. Children of today have information available to them at the click of a button. But India Insight is one set of competitions where they develop curiosity about the historical, cultural and current facts on India. From the host institution with Yaniketan Public School, let me wish all you participants all the best as you move from the prelims to the grand finale. A big thank you to all the teachers who stood by their students as they prepared for these competitions and to their heads of institutions, not only from India, but nine other countries as well, making India Insight a truly global set of competitions. All the best and thank you. Friends, put your hands together to welcome on stage Quizmaster Big Brain. A big hello and a warm welcome to each and every one of you. You're with me, Big Brain, here today at yet another quiz final of India Insight. In this season brought to you by the Vidyaniketan Group of Institutions, you are witnessing quarterfinal three of the senior edition. You've seen two outstanding battles already and a couple of qualifiers into our other semi-finals. The Middle Eastern region has been doing extremely well in this quiz. We've got Qatar, Saudi Arabia, Oman, UAE, all battling in this quiz for the top honours. So it's a quiz which really has grown and grown immensely over the last couple of years. It's our delight today to tell you who our seven contenders are, of whom four will make it to the semi-final. Let's first take a look at who they are before we start playing this quarter-final. First up here today with us, representing the Lalji Memorial Omega International School from Tamil Nadu is Shoshita. Welcome to you. <laughs> Neighboring Joshita from Bengaluru, representing the National Hillview Public School with us here today, Avantika. Welcome, Avantika. <laughs> As our third contender from Maharashtra's Thane, representing the Bala Gurukul School, is Sneha. Welcome to the final. With us here as our fourth contender from the Vidyaniketan School, from Bengaluru, first up with us here today, Neha Jain. Welcome to you.
Qualifying next into our final here today, also a Vidyaniketan, but a different Vidyaniketan from Bengaluru, representing Vidyaniketan from Hebal. We have with us Meenakshi. Welcome to you. <music> Neighboring Meenakshi from the Vidyaniketan Public School in Bengaluru, we have with us Hitangshi. Welcome to you. And completing our lineup here today is Purvika, also from Vidyaniketan. Welcome, Purvika. So, ladies and gentlemen, here we are with our seven contenders. Zaina, unfortunately, missing out. And the rules of the game are the same. If you've been following the junior track and the other quarterfinals in the senior track, 10 questions plus one, minus one, five seconds of time. Whoever presses the, the buzzer first gets to answer. And if you press the buzzer while I am reading the question, you are indicating you know the answer. I'll stop reading the moment you press the buzzer. We'll start with our first question here today in this quarterfinal. Remember, four of you will qualify. Play your strategy accordingly. Starting with question number one. Hands on the buzzer. Here we go. Belur and Halebedu are famous examples of temple for what style of architecture? Chola architecture or Hoysala architecture? Minakshi has gone for it. Hoysala. Plus one. Plus one to Minakshi. She's got that right and she scores the first point here today as we go to the second one. Between Javed Akhtar and Girish Karnad, whose voice would you find in the great audio book, Sneha has gone for it very early. Is it um, um, Milka Singh? Well, minus one on Milka Singh to you. Well, I think she pressed too early and could not really get the drift of the question. I was actually leading you to Wings of Fire. And Wings of Fire is actually an audio narration by Girish Karnad. So a minus one to Sneha on that second question. Do not be in a hurry. Be calm. As we go to the next one. Between the Padma Bhushan, the Bharat Ratna and the Padma Vibhushan, which is the higher award? Neha has gone for it. Yeah, Neha. Bharat Ratna. Plus one. She's got that right. She's got her first point. And we go to question number four. The Aadhaar card in India is famously associated with Nandan Neelakeni. Which company in India was founded? Sneha has gone for it. Yes, yeah, Sneha. Uh, he's one of co-founders of Infosys. Well played. She'll negate the negative very quickly. And that's a good way to play the game. She's got that absolutely right. And she will be happy she did that. As we go to the next one. Which of the following sport was actually founded or originated in India? Rugby or chess? Joshita. Um, chess. Plus one. All the girls are scoring and they're really scoring fast. Joshita gets a plus one on that. So she's also moving into the plus or the positives. And I think we've got three of them on the positive and Sneha has negated a negative. So in that sense, she also took a positive. Well, here we go. Raja, Rani, Rocket, Rover. All these. Sneha's gone for it. These are parts of Jog Falls in Karnataka. Well, with a lot of Bengaluru taking part, it's really nice to see someone who's not from Karnataka answering that. Sneha's got that absolutely right and she gets a plus one. Beautifully answered. These are all the Jog Falls. But from Maharashtra too, Joke Falls is not too far because you've got the lovely Western Connect coming in for you. As we go to question number seven, which instrument would you associate to the great musician of India, Hari Prasad Chaurasia? Avantika has gone for it. Flute. Is correct. Plus one. So seven questions done. We've got three questions to go. And I tell you what, this is becoming an interesting battle because we've got five of them on plus one 
and only four can qualify. So it's going to be rather nervous as well, is how I see it. As we go to question number eight, here we go. Who's going to get this one right? It can be crucial. <clears throat> it is among the older stock exchanges of the world. It is commonly referred to as BSE. What is the full form? Sneha has gone for it. It's Bombay Stock Exchange. She got one non-Maharashtra right this time. She gets the Maharashtra question right in that sense. But the Bombay Stock Exchange belongs to the entire nation. On a plus two, she'll feel happy because she knows in this battle, she can be pretty safe with two questions to go. Is Sneha Jha from the Balagurukul School in Maharashtra? Two questions still remaining as we go to the next one. Here we go. Between Raja Raja Chola and Chandragupta Maurya, who had a wise man in their court whose name Hitanshika has got Chanakya. Is absolutely right. Oh, she predicted that question well. Children are becoming like artificial intelligence bots. They predict questions these days, but that's how well prepared they are. She's got a crucial plus one. Everyone seems to be scoring in this quiz. It's a tight battle. Sneha looks pretty sure to go into the semi-finals, so she may just keep quiet on the last question because if she takes a negative, then she's going to force a tiebreaker. So I don't think she's necessarily going to do that. Well, we've got one final question remaining. Well, seven girls. Well, it's becoming popular as a sport among girls these days. Let's see how they play it out. 83 was a great film that was launched not so long ago. It featured the story of India winning the Prudential World Cup in 1983. Someone's trying to predict the question. Avantika, yes. India won the World Cup in 1983. Avantika, in a hurry there, my question to you was, who led the Indian team? The answer would have been Kapil Dev. Well, she's just a bit of a hurry. There's no need for her to do that. And I told you they won the Prudential World Cup. So that could not have been potentially the answer. So she takes a minus and she knocks herself out of that battle. She's really playing well, but rush of blood. So among the six of them who are left, we've got Sneha going through. So we've got five of them left. Oh, Purvika is not scored as well. So we are left with Neha, Meenakshi, Hitanshi and Joshita. So among you, three will qualify. So if any of you get one wrong, then you're going to knock yourself out. So be careful. Sneha is the only one who's qualified fair and square at this moment. Question number one, tiebreaker. If you get it right, you qualify. The rest continue to play. So it's Meenakshi, Hitanshi, Neha and Choshita. Question one. Between Uttar Pradesh, Bihar and Jharkhand, Nitish Kumar is the chief minister of which state? Neha has gone for it. Bihar. We'll take her into the semi-final. Neha qualifies into the second semi-final along with Sneha. So it's now going to be the battle between the other three girls. Two more slots remaining. And let's see how it's going to go on the remaining two slots. Here we go. The name of which place in India originated from the Urdu word Dahlis? Avantika is taking a... Avantika, you can't. You're not in the tiebreaker. I'm sorry. We'll neutralize the buzzer. Anyone else trying to go for it who has a chance? Meenakshi is going for it. She has a valid attempt. Yes, Meenakshi. Delhi. Meenakshi from Vidyaniketan Hebbal says Delhi and she makes it to the semi-final. Well, Delhi does get its name from Dahlis. So we've got three of them now qualifying. It's a battle between Hitanshi and Joshita. Here is the next question. With which city, with which city in India would you associate Sultan Ahmad Shah? The name of the city, Hitanshika, I'm sorry, uh, Hitanshi has gone for it. 
Ahmedabad. Ahmedabad will take you to the semi-final. Oh, she's taking her risks well, and she took that at a crucial moment. Hard luck for Joshita. She really played well, but she just probably waited a little too long on the buzzers, and that's always not good in a format like this. So you got four of them qualifying into our semi-final from here. Sneha Jha from Balaguru Kul in Maharashtra playing absolutely well to get herself through straight out. Neha and Hitanshika from Vidyaniketan Public School going through, while Binakshi from Vidyaniketan Hebal also joining the semi-final. We'll be back with you with the final semi-final of the seniors. Till then, from me, pick brain from all of us. On behalf of the Vidyaniketan Group of Institutions, thank you for tuning in. Goodbye.